Katy Perry is a complete idiot. She responded to the Manchester attack carried out by a terrorist who was able to exploit open borders by calling for more open borders. The greatest thing we can do is just unite and love on each other and like no barriers, no borders. Like it, it, we're, we all need to just coexist. Yeah, it's easy to call for no borders when you live inside the secluded border of an $18 million mansion, isn't it, Katie? The rest of us, down here in the real world, actually have to live with the consequences of open borders. The very kind of open borders that let the Manchester bomber go to Libya and Syria for ISIS terror training and then slip back into the UK. No barriers, no borders. We're not worth $280 million. We can't travel around in chauffeured luxury vehicles and private jets. We're not so frigging arrogant, elitist and out of touch that we have staff who aren't even allowed to talk to us. I love you today. I love yeah. you, Katie. I love you too I know. so much. <laughs> After the US election, Perry restyled herself as an icon of the anti-Trump resistance, embracing her role as an ambassador of woke pop. Yes, really. This is the same clown who called for a revolution after Hillary lost. Hey Katie, you're not Che Guevara, you're a dumb bimbo who dresses up like a slut and sings about popsicles. Don't you just yearn for the days when celebrities occasionally told the truth about the world, rather than this sterile, virtue-signalling malaise where they all just say exactly the same thing. The only celebrity with the balls to tell the truth is Manchester's own Morrissey. When you're northern, you're northern forever and uh you're instilled with a certain um, feel for life. Who blamed mass immigration and political correctness for what happened this week. And for that, he was smeared as a far-right racist. Everybody's absolutely mad. But he's been proven completely correct. The bomber was acting suspiciously for months, loudly chanting Arabic prayers in the street, showing sympathies for ISIS at his local mosque. But the neighbours did nothing. They didn't report it, no doubt because they feared they'd be labelled far-right racists. Listen, leftist idiots like Katy Perry have no argument when it comes to open borders and Islamic immigration. That's why they have to use Muslims as rhetorical human shields. So when you attack their argument, they can claim you're attacking Muslims. That's why they deify Islam and Islamism. Because if you remove that human shield from the equation, their argument vanishes. I'm sick of Katy Perry and all the other vacuous celebrities with their lame virtue signalling. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. I think, like, the greatest thing that we can do now is just unite as people. Spewing empty platitudes about uniting and loving each other doesn't accomplish anything. It's just a coping mechanism so people can hide from the fact that they're completely powerless in the face of evil. And you know, I wouldn't even care. It would be pretty harmless. But many of the celebrities doing this are the same ones who exploit people's grief and emotion to shout down people like me as racists for trying to politically push for policies that will genuinely reduce the risk of terrorism. Reduce the risk of little girls being maimed and mutilated. That's why this needs to be called out. And that's why Katy Perry needs to SHUT THE FUCK UP! I love you, Katy. I love you.